we'll see kids who, as they start to struggle in school, they get progressively more frustrated, and they can't be good at being good, and so they will get very good at being bad. What we do is we isolate that child, and eventually we give up on them. Unconditional care says no, we'll be with you no matter what. Seneca Family of Agencies works with kids and families across child welfare, mental health, juvenile justice, and education. So these would be kids who are really struggling with trauma and pain in their lives. But more broadly, it might be a child in a class that's not learning to read and getting frustrated. If you don't reverse those patterns, kids get progressively more isolated. They move towards a path of separation and drop out that's when you start seeing more gang involvement. That's when you start seeing kids wind up in the juvenile justice system. All right, you ready to go inside? Okay, hold my If hand. you intervene only on the academic side and miss the emotional side, you're not gonna be effective. A trauma-informed approach is imperative. It's the difference between saying what's wrong with you and what happened to you. Carmelo started struggling by third grade by the time he was in fifth grade, the um, principal of the school told me she didn't want to see him back on campus. For five years, I would sit at home and wait for the phone to ring that I had to go pick up my kid because it couldn't do anything for him. The first few weeks at Seneca, I got a call from one of the staff, and he said, I'm calling to let you know that He's walking off and we're gonna work with him. What's it called? It was the first time I felt like I was normal. Unconditional education is the idea that when we go into a school, the kid that's struggling the most is the kid that we should be helping the most. We have an unconditional education model in 11 schools and then we have intervention efforts in another 50 schools. The idea is to bring resources to the child at the earliest intervention point so that we can keep a school together and keep a child in school. When you come into an unconditional education school, you're gonna see more adults in the classroom, mental health professionals engaging, one-on-one -on -one intervention, and it can be anything from intensive reading instruction, behavioral support, to tutoring in math. I've been able to spend many more hours working on instruction because of the work with Seneca because we're able to solve problems more efficiently and effectively as a team coming together around the table. You have physical science and... Seneca actually sees your child. They allowed Carmelo the time that he needed. He's able to learn, which that didn't happen at other schools. How much harder is it to deal with a child who is not coming to school anymore because they have an emotional problem? it's a whole lot easier and you have a much better chance of success if you intervene at those earlier points. <laughs>